time in the transition from losing to maintaining? Losing was probably easier, I think, than maintaining because um, you tend to stick to a, a formula and then when you do have to maintain yourself, there's situations which you don't know is going to crop up mm. and that's fine. you have to sort of draw on that knowledge that you've had beforehand with Weight Watchers to work out what to do with that. And Kushla, do you agree with that? How did you find that? Um, I, For me personally, I, because I made it such a lifestyle and it was something that I was comfortable with, I just kept going with the same thing. So. Mm. I didn't really find it any more difficult maintaining than I did losing at the time. So, yeah. And what are your strategies kind of moving forward? So, you know, Rachel's been five years at goal and Jackie at 10. Um, probably just keep going what I'm doing. Like, I still make sure I'm eating the right amount of points each day. And, and I also still attend the meetings. So I think that's, that's still a good um, standby for me to mm -hmm. just keep going. And Rachel, what's kept you on track for that time? Definitely, it's always in your head after this song, it's, you don't really need to track as much, it's good too if you feel yourself slipping, but definitely just, it's a, it's a big lifestyle change and you just got to keep that mindset. And 10 years on, Jackie, do you still weigh yourself regularly? I do, I weigh myself once a week and I weigh myself at Weight Watchers once a month, I go religiously and, and go to an state the meeting too, so, and that's always a good incentive to know that you're going to get weighed in the next week or so, so. And have any of you had any obstacles during maintenance, and if so, how have you overcome them? I've gained a few kilos a few years ago, but then I just went back to Weight Watchers and got rid of it in a couple of weeks. You know you can do it, but going back makes you accountable because someone's weighing you and, mm -hmm. yeah. Not scary. Um, I think for me, like I had a few disappointments along the way, and the way I used to deal with that would be eating food. So I kind of had to work through that and just use other coping mechanisms rather than that. So I think that that was what was hard at the time. And what were those other coping mechanisms? Um, going out and exercising, like to get fresh air to clear my mind, and um, coming up with other plans and stuff for what had gone wrong, I thought, well, I'll put other plans in the future. So being more proactive rather than just sitting there and eating, you know, yeah.